What you guys got another video here for you now, now the other day I made a video on firewall leak testing and I've got quite a few uh, messages from people asking me what is the purpose of having a, a secondary firewall or another firewall well if you install a firewall it will disable the Windows firewall and that will then become your default firewall now the purpose for it is to be more secure it adds a much better layer of security so in this video we're going to be doing a test on private firewall um, it's no preference over any other firewall I'm just going to be using this one it has got HIPS uh, technology built into it which is very good at uh, blocking malware and uh, stuff like that so if you go to their website you can see here some of the features that it's got on this firewall it is free to use and it is compatible with Windows 8, 8.1, 7, Vista and uh, XP you can see it does zero hour antivirus protection, zero hour uh, spyware protection, and you've also got the malware protection. IPv6 and IPv4 packet filtering, behavioral hacker protection. You see the leak test, it come up pretty good on that. We've got the website IP filtering, anti-login, uh, and also the advanced application control, advanced report module, and also uh, process control and protection registry protection and system anomaly detection and email anomaly de detection as well okay so they're the features that it has it also has hips uh, installed there which will protect you for nasty uh, behavioral uh, from like uh, programs and stuff that are tried to install on the system now what we're going to do is we're going to leave run this as defaults as I said and uh, you've got the traffic light system here uh, that will allow you to uh, set this to how you like we're going to leave it where it was okay and uh, once we've got this set up we're going to be running kill switch just to see any malicious um, programs that are trying to install themselves on the system now we don't want to have a look at all these processes here so what we can do is hide uh, the safe processes and this will just detect the uh, infected or dangerous processes okay so let's get our viruses out onto the system and uh, what I'm going to do here you can see as soon as I go to open any zip file the firewall is going to want to ask you whether you want to block or allow now if I block it will, won't allow me to open it so I'm going to open this and drag this onto my system now this does also mean that you have to have a bit of common sense when uh, running programs and malicious software uh, so you need to block everything okay this is what it always comes down to is user error people click on stuff and of course they get infected so let me just pull this off as well okay so now we've got our two folders on our desktop here I'm going to quickly open this one up and snap that to the side and uh, we're gonna snap our kill switch to one side now we've got our firewall running and uh, what we're going to do here is click on some of these infections okay now these are all um, known infections and you'll see what happens okay so we're going to click on this and straight away the process monitors picked up on um, a malicious program it's got no signature and it's asking me what it wants to do now if I don't click block it will automatically block it okay because there's a timer so we're going to block that and you'll see it disappear now sometimes they do linger and that means that it's trying to still do something but because we've blocked it it hasn't got no uh, permission to do so so we'll just continually click on these and you'll see them come up here analyze unclassified so we've now going to block this again it will ask you to block you can see what it done there try to do something it's now lingering there and it's now gone same again I'm going to cancel this and cancel that and you can see it's trying to run now what we can do here is click on this one I'll just go through some here you just have to use a bit of common sense really hacked Facebook we'll click on that I'm going to block that and then we go and once they finish analyzing these files 
it will tell you what they are sometimes it just deletes them because we've blocked it now this is a different one we can say yes to this and soon as we say yes it will then try to run like so it's a trojan wear i'm going to say now block let that block and of course because it can't run it's a little bit like a limited uh, account it just stops it from running properly so we're going to block this again another trojan wear invoice which you get from emails stuff like that uh, me naked jpeg uh, that sounds a bit dodgy that's probably going to be a, a picture of some sorts uh, well, I think we'll leave that one okay then we'll click on it that's doing something it's trying to trying to run here okay up comes the uh, no signature here so I'm going to block that okay you, you won't be able to see that picture but there is a naked person there that's not me <laughs> so I'm going to block that and close that off okay now you can see that's still lingering around there that's okay um, it's not doing anything because I've blocked it so it can't do, do its thing that it wants to do to my PC um, but there you go you got the general idea now we're just going to click on a couple of more of these quickly and uh, as you'll see um, there's tons of these things sexy woman tries to run nothing happens okay so there you can see we've clicked on quite a few now infections now my main goal here now is to make sure the system is clean so I'm going to close this off and uh, we need to uh, reboot the system now don't worry about this I'm going to close that off and reboot the system okay that's what we need to do next so we're just going to quickly restart Okay, we're now back at the desktop the firewall will load back up we can now delete these two folders with our viruses in them we don't need them anymore and we can empty the recycle bin to get them off the system okay so the next thing we need to do is I want to quickly run malware bytes to make sure the system is clean and that nothing slipped through the firewall now again uh, Windows Defender was only the thing that we had on this system we still got our firewall running so we're going to quickly run a scan here so I can see here we want to do a custom scan as well I like the new user interface of um, Malwarebytes here it's pretty nice I do like it so we're going to do a custom scan here and we're going to do that of our C drive. It wants to do a quick update first. So I'm going to update this. Let this update and then we will run a scan, okay? And there we go, we'll run this scan. And that's the scan results now completed, as you can see, and it detected no objects there at all which is very good so that was a, a test results for the private firewall which is a great little firewall really it really did a good job and uh, also you've got some other firewalls there that have got this same technology like online armor and uh, komodo they have the hips capability of blocking malicious programs like that and uh, that was running on default settings and nothing managed to get through onto the system so you can see there that's an essential part of security is added another layer to your security. Now you can run that alongside your Avast uh, antivirus or Komodo antivirus or AVG or whatever it is you want to choose. And also you can have Malwarebytes Pro running as a real-time scanner protecting you also. Now also you could even have a registry monitor if you wanted to go that far and have something like Wind Patrol that uh, scans your mon uh, and monitors your registry changes and I'm pretty sure if you're very sensible at not clicking on uh, silly stuff and allowing them through you're not going to get infected okay again it always comes down to the user that's the most important part the user will uh, click on stuff and allow stuff to go through now 
What does all this mean if you don't have any of this stuff and you just want to run Windows uh, firewall? Well, I am guarantee you if you're running a Windows firewall, uh, and I'll tell you what, we'll do a quick check on that right now, I think. Okay, so I've removed the firewall from the system. I'm not going to go too mad, but I'm just going to give an example of what will happen. Let's just make sure the firewall is running. So we're going to use the right settings here. I'm going to see if we can get this running here. Okay, we've got our firewall activated and up and running. The firewall status is on. So let's just quickly open up here uh, something and see if we can get it installed onto the system. And this will give you an idea of what Windows Firewall will do um, over the actual private firewall software. So let's just go and install something on this system, something like this. And then we can open up a kill switch if you wish, just to show you the difference. I think that will be a good idea. and we can hide, hide safe and you can see already we have something running here and that's now running let me just quickly snap those to one side again we can then click on some of these stuff and I guarantee you you're going to get infected and nothing's going to stop you from getting infected because that firewall Windows firewall will not stop it as you can see these are now running on the system as you can see the CPU is starting to go mad and we've got this running so I'm not going to start going too uh, crazy but you can generally see here all this stuff is starting to install on the system Trojan.exe and we're going to jump to that folder and see if we can find and there we have it it's now running on our system as you can see there it's already installed so that's the difference between Windows Firewall and another firewall like Komodo or Online Armor or Private Firewall. Okay, so I'm not going to infect any more, that's just basically that. So that's basically how you can protect yourself by using another layer of security like Private Firewall. Okay, so I think we're going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, and you find them informative, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also, if you've got any video requests or anything like that, then leave a comment down in the section below. I always read these comments. Um, and also, if you want to keep up to date when I upload any new videos, then hit the subscribe button, guys. Okay, and I shall see you again in the next video. Thanks again for your support, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Bye for now.